The Jitex Global 20 Thank You Vibe. Thank you. Uh, let's start with the hot systems. You have workstations and AI laptops. How are they helping business workflows? It, it's very important when you look at the AI adoption is to see how can you accelerate the adoption of AI. One of the important things that we looked at is how can we help uh, people to expedite the deployment of AI on their uh, machines locally. Okay. So we've done lots of R&D around this. And for that specifically, we came up with a a platform on HOT that is basically geared towards the AI workload that will make it faster, to run faster, of course, and it will accelerate the adoption of number of uh, workloads and use cases for AI. Okay. And what sort of benefits do these AI-driven uh, hardware solutions bring to CAD, BIM, and uh, AI applications? The good thing is we have adapted our technology to, to cater for different needs and different industries. So AI is more of a generic uh, implementation of, uh, of, of, of HOT as a system. But at the same time, we cater for other industries like AEC. Now, we, if you look into the issues that, fa that are faced by uh, the BIM uh, engineers, is always performance, always performance. How, it will, how, how much time it will take me to open a file, render a file, you know, close a file. And I've seen that for not only for AEC, but also for multimedia and uh, for marketing. So they're struggling. When, when you have large files. They're struggling when you open and close. We're struggling when you save. So we thought about the technology that can help them to accelerate these things, right? And instead of doing it in one hour, can we do it in a half an hour? Can we do it in 40 minutes? Can we do it in, which will give back, very important, give back time to people that they can do more, all right? Which means that at the end, it will help you with the cost benefits of anything that you do. Okay. So, and, and, and beyond AI, what sort of transformative uh, you know, solutions is HOT bringing to the table when it comes to, say, you know, digital workflows? Yeah, so I, if you look at it, as I said, there are different industries that can benefit out of this implementation. There is a potential for multimedia that will take care of this, right? Marketing team members, um, as I said, the AEC uh, industry, the BIM engineers, right? Consultant, if you look at it, uh, if you look at it, gaming, because also it can accelerate in the gaming field. Uh, not the enterprise business, but more of a consumer business. All these uh, workloads will benefit from accelerated workflow. So what we do is we do optimization on the hardware that will cater for each and every workflow of these natures, right? And that's why we are very specific. Okay. Right? It's not like one size fits all. It's very specific. It's very targeted to the industries and very targeted to the use case that we are uh, working. Okay. And um, coming back to the visualization, uh, you know, systems, um, uh, how do you enhance the performance of, uh, you know, 3D experiences? Yeah, that's only We are coming from this industry. We've been in the industry for a very long time as Omnix. And for that, we understand the nature of the workflow. Okay. As an example, the rendering workflow or for that matter, the visualization workflow. We understand the flow itself. We understand what is required for us to boost this. Right? We are not doing anything in the hardware. All what we are doing is optimizing the path of the software and making sure that the machine is optimized. And that's why we call HOT optimized. And the O stands for optimized. It's optimized for the specific workload. Okay. And this is the unique value proposition that we're bringing. You know, because if you go for a generic hardware, it will not cater for the different needs. Okay. Okay. You also have something called HOT Guard. Uh, what yeah. sort of role does it play, uh, you know, uh, for professionals in uh, AI digital workflows? So this is an add-on that we are bringing into HOT, and that's because this is a con we are doing continuous R and D. So specifically for uh, for HOT Guard, it, it provides security for you know, enhanced security on top of the current systems it gives the visibility of what's happening in the system so in that case we can understand what are the bottlenecks where are the bottlenecks 
uh, visualizing that in, in, in a, it's like a system management console. So in that case, I, as a owner of the HOT systems or a multiple HOT systems, I can look at my systems. I can understand the health of each and every uh, unit. I can understand where are the bottlenecks. I can then fix them, right? Which means that I have full visibility of the environment that I have. On top of that, it's always comes with security, enhanced security, so make sure that your system is not only efficient but also very much secure. And that's okay. why we call it the guard. Okay, okay. And over the couple of days, like uh, it's third day of uh, Jitex, you must have had a lot of conversations with partners and customers as well. What sort of challenges and opportunities have you identified? It's, whenever we bring the uh, the topic of AI, everyone just jumps in. How can you help me with AI? And that's why we're saying is we are focusing on producing a specific uh, system for AI needs. Now, this can come from for ge you know generative AI. So everyone is talking about you know the chat GPT and, and local machines. And uh, how can I do this on my local machine? Can I have a version of my local machine to test? Yeah. How? So we are all these things are, are are discussion points. So we can help them in their development environment. We can help them in the local environment implementation. We can let we can help them in a local generative AI solution that fits small organization rather than you know not organizations are big. Right. So let's say if you go to an organization with five six people. But they still want to take the advantage of generative AI. Can we help them? Yes, because now we can give them a machine that can be locally uh, working, adaptable to the uh, use case, as I said, whether it being generative or with being analytic uh, AI. So these are the discussions that we're having on on the front of, you know, uh, on the I would say AI front. On the other side, right, is that when we talk about engineering AAC industry, they come and says, okay, how can you? Help us with, you know, uh, accelerating our um, our environment efficiency and so on and so forth. This is where we can have different types of discussions. So actually, we had different uh, you know, threads of discussions from different industry. Oil and gas. When you want to test something on oil and gas, okay. uh, I might want to test it on a local environment. Might test on a small machine. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's for development. Okay. Maybe it's for training. Okay. I, you know, all these are workloads that we can use. Right, uh, yeah, yeah. we can use uh, HOT four to accelerate. These are you know these type of things. As I said, the training, uh, you know, the test and development, staging environments, uh, use cases that are locally on the machine, okay. generative analytics. All these are cases that now we're catering for. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Walid, for speaking to us. Nice uh, having you with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you.